let us let us draw some lines here. Let's say we're looking at the four hour Swissy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a set of lines on this chart. Here is the daily chart, right? So on the daily chart, I need to find all of my support and resistance zones. Remember, I'm trading the four hour chart here, right? So because I'm trading the four hour chart, I need to draw in my support and resistance zones on the daily chart, which is one, uh, one um, time frame higher. And that's how I'll do it. No matter what time frame we're looking at, I'll always go one time frame higher and draw my zones in. And so this is how we do this. We're looking for those spots on the chart where price has repeatedly reversed. You can see here, we do see that here. And we do see that here. Support, support, and support. How do you recognize a false breakout? Dave, I think that's a great question. We've just talked about that today, actually, in another webinar. Maybe maybe what we can do, Dave, is next month um, we'll, we'll, we'll have a webinar just on that. And maybe you can remind me, Dave, ne next month we'll do uh, a Last Kiss webinar because that's what we use the Last Kiss to decide whether or not we have a false breakout. Yeah, if you remind me, Dave, we'll do that in, in like the third week of April. All right. So you got some uh, resistance here as well. So these are the spots on the chart where, where price is repeatedly reversed. Now, it's really important that um, I want to see touches on both sides of the line here. Why do I draw a dotted line? Because it's a beer belly, right? These aren't walls on the chart. They're beer bellies. Just like a beer belly, you can push into it a little bit. You know, the soft thing it offers some resistance, but you know, it's a little bit fuzzy. You don't know exactly where it is. So that's why my lines are dashed, because I want to remind myself of that. So what we have here also is an extreme low. So we'll, we'll draw a zone down there too. If you ever get stuck, one thing that helps me is I'll go to a line chart, and that will help you identify these bends in the road. And these bends here are um, going to help you establish your zones on the on the chart here. So just dropping down to a line chart like this will often help out a lot. Um, let's go back to candlesticks though. Okay, so now we're on the, those are our daily zones. We'll drop down to the four hour chart now and we'll draw some more lines on the chart, some more zones, support and resistance zones on the chart. These I'll, I'll do in a different color remind myself that, you know, they're from the four-hour chart. That's the only reason I do that. And I'll draw both of them. It doesn't really matter. So let's look at, there we go. There's one there. There's probably one there. Why do I, why do I say that there's one right here? All of these touches right here on the bottom, all of these touches here on the bottom and these touches over here on the top of this zone suggest that that's an area right there. Um, got one right there. We've got one down here. We've got one right here. Well, there's also going to be one somewhere in here, probably um, right around there. And again, when it gets a little bit sloppy like that, again, the line chart is going to really help you out here. And you can see these touches clear up with the line chart. The line chart just connects the closing prices, right? All right, so let's zoom in and look at where we're at now. So this is a four-hour Swissy chart. With this chart, you can see here, um, one of the most interesting spots on the chart is, uh, happened a couple days ago, actually. And it was just yesterday that we had a big shadow right here. Let me point it out. There's our big shadow right there. Let's zoom, zoom in on this one. So it's right there. 
And what happened was price came up to this red zone here. It's 90, 9221, right? Printed a big shadow. What's interesting about this big shadow was that it engulfed not only the prior bar, but the bar before that and the bar before that. And it was right here on this 9221 zone. And looking on the daily chart, you can see here that we recently had some brilliant touches right here. In fact, they're all right here. Look at that. So all of these touches on this zone. So this is the first time that price came back up and touched the same area. So where it was once support, it became resistance on the four hour chart. We'll go back down the four hour chart. Right there. And how did we know that that was going to be um, some resistance there? Was just the big shadow. The big shadow told us the story. It did trigger lower on the very next bar and it came down here, traded lower, slowly moved all the way down and then this bar right here where it touched the 9144 zone. Again, how do we know this is a zone? Well, most recently when price paused, it paused right on this zone. And then before that, when price came down, it found support right on this zone at 9144. So it wasn't a big surprise that price came down here and um, paused. Now the question is, is it going to break out or and, and keep going lower, or is it going to turn around? Well, it turned around rather quickly, and this was yesterday during the European session. Coco is asking, so you're looking at these engulfing candles at logical areas of support and resistance. That's right, Coco. Most of the naked systems I trade are based on support and resistance. Um, and anyone here, if you need, if you want the ebook, I'll certainly give it to you. Hypipdiet at gmail.com. That's hypipdiet at gmail.com. You can have this stuff for free, right? So we're not selling anything. Um, it's all there for the taking. But we talk about these things, these sorts of setups, um, during these webinars. Uh, I think last week we talked about a different one. So, but the big shadow is basically an engulfing bar right on support and resistance. And we need both of them, Coco, and I'm glad you asked because if you just see price go to a support and resistance level, like let's just say, uh, we saw price come up to this level here at 91.46. Well, we don't just immediately sell when we see that happen, right? We need to have the other clue and the other part of that is the price pattern. 